Hi YouTube, um, decided to do a AV top loader um, mod thing. This isn't a step by step. This is more of a kind of overview. So if you're the a beginner, not a, a, ever opened up the system or anything, this is kind of a little more involved. Um, and I'm also starting in the middle, so you'll see work that's already done, and uh, I'll have to get to it. So. Um, where to start? Well, first off, before I go, I'm building a, this based off of a program put on NestDev. I'll make sure I put a link to credit uh, the site as well as the person who came out with the program. Um, so there'll be two images I have printed out on paper I'll kind of show you. Um, so uh, let's get started. I'm, I'm going to assume you know how to open up the system. So if you don't know how to do that, just stop watching now. Go to eBay and buy the correct tool bit. Um, so after that, what you do is you have your system uh, pulled out. Um, you're going to make sure you need to buy four parts before you really start doing anything after you get your system. You're going to need a capacitor. Oops, let's get fixed here. Of course it won't. You need to get the 220 UF um, or whatever letter that is UF. Now the thing is the the Nest uses five volts. Now you can use anything over that. Now one of the the program actually suggests uh, 6.3, but you're not going to find a 6.3. I never did. Um, so I have a 16 volt. Now you also notice that mine is located uh, one leg on each side of the capacitor. Um, you know you can find them where they're both on one side, but um, it doesn't really matter. The, the how you determine the legs on this. Remember, the longer leg is always negative, so you can just kind of point them down, figure it out, and obviously this one on the left here seems to be slightly longer. So that's what you're going to need. One of those. Let's set my stuff over here to the side. This next piece will be really tiny for you to see. Um. Focus. My little shaky hand would work better. Um, anyway, this is a 560 PF uh, 50 volt um, capacitor. It's a ceramic. Um, the program says 560. This is a 560. You'll find 561s. They should work fine. Um, I just made sure I got the right one. So you got to get one of those. These parts are actually, uh, uh, these are very difficult to find at like a Radio Shack, I'll be honest with you. Um, I bought a pack at 100 and only one of them was correct. Again, the same thing with these. It says have a 5 volt, but, um, but you really can use anything for it though. Um, I don't have these in a bag because I have a whole bunch of them, but this is the 300 ohm, 100 fourth watt carbon film resistors. I mean, they're just straight up resistors, so I mean, I don't need to really kind of show you much more than that, I guess. Uh, you'll need one of those, and you will also need a 110 ohm, 1 fourth uh, uh, watt carbon resistor. You know, there they are there. Now that you have all that, now get your system cracked open. You will be building, um, you'll be taking two pieces from your uh, top loader. I'm going to try to get the best angle. You see those two holes? Well, it's upside down from here. Right over your shielding. Uh, let's see if I can get it right there. Where it says FC5, uh, FC2 that's the piece you need. You kind of see the outline of the shape there where it has the lines coming up and forming a little rectangle. Um, you'll need to remove this unit there. You turn it over, desolder it, and uh, pull it out very gently. Do not pull the pins off. So you need FC2 right there. That's where it's located. And you're also going to need to take, now if you're holding your system sideways like this, so the controllers to the right, you're going to need to grab Q1 and that's what your Q1 looks like. It's three pins. This is another one of those. Make sure you pull it out very carefully. Um, 
that's what Q1 looks like on the underside with it removed. I'm not the neatest, so please forgive me. Just make sure you don't touch any of your other contacts. And right over here, you kind of see, let's see if I can point it out, right here, right there, you kind of see it removed there too. Be as neat as you can. Again, don't touch anything else. All right, once you have those two pieces removed, you're going to need to build your video circuit. According, now this is the first part uh, I will be referencing from the Nest Dev. This is the schematic you need to find on the website. Okay, I'll just leave that up for a second so anyone wants to pause it and they can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, it's very clearly written here where everything goes, but I'll just show you on mine how I did it. Okay, make sure when you do this, I do highly suggest getting different color wires that will make it a lot easier for you. Now this one's mine. Again, rem please remember I'm not a master solder, so some of the solder connections look pretty crummy, but it does work. Um, here's your resistor, uh, your capacitor. Your negative side goes on the left. Okay, so it connects into here. And from here, it goes down. I believe this is the 110 ohm right here. So there's your 110 ohm. Then your 110 ohm comes down, connects to your video, then to uh, one side of this capacitor. Um, now once it connects to this capacitor, the other side of the capacitor legs, actually all four of these are connected to the same uh, spot. Now you can bridge them or you can kind of twist them all into one ball um, and try to solder them that way. That's kind of what I did, kind of ghetto. But uh, I don't have pads on this board, I, you know. So it connects from this pin to this pin to this pin to this pin here. Then you have a, a jumper that goes over here. Now this is your Q1 remember now make sure you notice I don't know if my camera will pick it up but you see a notch there ever so closely in the middle uh, up near the top that goes up towards your capacitor so make sure you remember that your lead um, comes over and connects to the middle pin of this your bottom pin connects to this red wire here or any color you have but this one here is red for me the top connects up to here now you can see what I did with this capacitor is I didn't cut the leg off, I actually bent it down and then ran it straight across. So I soldered there and there. From there it comes down through this um, uh, resistor and comes out here for your ground. Okay, so that's my video circuit. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of um, Plenty of space coming off, uh, plenty of uh, line coming off, okay? Alright, so now we have the video circuit done. Now, this I, uh, then the next thing comes to do is you're going to need to um, lift a pin on your board. Um, you need to go to the PPU. Now, the second, um, yeah, the second, I'm watching my time. The second uh, little detail I will be showing up from the Nest Dev is this here. Oops, a little close. This is an image you can pull off. And this is where it shows you here on your PPU which pin to lift. So it would be that one there. It's pin 40. Your dot uh, tells you where pin 1 is. It's 20 pence per side, so it's 20 there, and then 40. So yeah, I think it even tells you. Oh, I'm sorry. Pin 21. Yeah, I was right. 20 and then up 1. I apologize because I thought it was that way. So it starts here as 1. and comes all the way here as 20, then up is 1. Now how you lift a pin is fairly easy. You can actually see how to lift pins on... Um, Actually, I think you can go look at uh, 
some of the things for modding a regular to uh, toaster nest and, and pop a pin out that way if you want to see how to properly, uh, properly lift a pin. Um, so just to kind of show you here, when uh, where the controller ports are facing you, this is your PPU. Okay, so let's get kind of close here. All right. All right, there's your um your ground. This is your lifted pin. This is your 21. So when it's down here, it'll be your lower left-hand pin. You flip it over, you uh, use your desoldering tool, either a desoldering iron or um one of the little bulb things. I have a little vacuum deal. And uh, you take the solder out and you very, very, very gently lift it up. And there's your power. I'll be back with the next video here, guys.